He was killed, caught in a crossfire. My whole world switched. I just can't believe it. I can't believe all these kids. Every single night, somebody's getting killed. We are here today to honor the mothers who stand boldly for peace and hope. A couple of months ago, a human hurricane by the name of Tina Sherry blew into our studio. When Tina Sherry asks you, are you going to be at the Mother's Day March? She's not asking you. You're going to be at the Mother's Day March. I realize this is my calling. Somebody else can do it, but will they do it with the tenderness that is being done, with the passion, with the commitment, you know, with the heart? Well, I have loved getting to know Tina. I really mean it. It has really meant a lot to me. The one regret I carry here today is that I never got to shake the hand of the man whose picture is on my shirt, her son, Louis D. Brown. He actually was killed right two minutes from where we're at. And he was caught in a crossfire between two rival gangs. We're here this morning because we're going to walk for peace. So the Peace Institute can continue their work. Our elected officials, our clergy, for them to shift the mindset, to put the resources back into the community so that the community can uplift itself. Because we're doing the work. Happy Mother's Day, Mrs. We want them to say your community is a community of assets, not of deficits.